Clocks are cool, but do you know much about them? I've come to realize my knowledge on how clocks work is very basic. I want to know more. So let's kickstart a clock study by putting this clock kit together. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can order this kit for yourself. Okay, here's my clock working and it it's going to uh, chime in a couple of moments. Oh, it just went. It's a little off though. Okay, so basically the biggest thing that I learned is that in order to have a mechanical clock, a clock without a battery, you need a spring. And so there's a spring in here and I think I'm going to try to find a spring online and add it to this video so that you can see what the spring looks like. because. It warned you not to take the spring or not to open this white part and I know just from experience, life experience, that if I were to open this, um, it would totally ruin the clock because the spring would just like just explode out of there and there's no way you can get it back. So I don't want to open this and destroy this. But basically then what happens is that this pendulum, this spring, so you saw it earlier when this pendulum was not here, um, this spring made all of these, the blue, the yellow, the red, and the white gear go really fast. Okay? Um, basically what's happening is this pin pendulum is slowing all of these gears down. And then the spring is also attached to the pink, the black, and the two black gears and the green gear okay and these so these gears are controlling the clock faces so these three gears are controlling the hands on the clock actually these three gears are controlling the hands on the clock and this gear is controlling when the bell rings because the spikes the, the instruction said that it's gonna ring every 15 minutes and yeah 15 plus 15 is 30, 30 plus 15 is 45, 45 plus 15 is 60. And the other kind of cool thing is like right now, I don't know, right now this is set on the fat, well, one of the fastest, but I can readjust my pendulum and make it go slower. So if you move the pendulum down a little bit too low, don't want it to touch the ground. Uh, you can move it down like that. And then everything goes slower. So I don't know these days, they probably don't have it, but back when I was a kid, you used to have a clock, a wristwatch that you had to wind every day. Uh, and now I understand why. You know, basically the wristwatch where you have to wind it, um, basically has this only in a miniature form. And if you've ever seen little watches, you can see how tiny the, the gears have to be. I've always been amazed at that. So basically every day you wind your clock. And normally you wind, when I was a kid, I winded it in, until it, you know, you couldn't wind it anymore. So I'm gonna do that here. I don't wanna break this. Okay, and then I'm gonna set this for, <laughs> I'm gonna set this for, actually I'm gonna set the time. What time is it now? It is, what time is it now? It is, it is 9.35 where I live. So I'll set this for 9.35. and uh, let it rip and then it should chime every 15 minutes. Now, I'm going to uh, let it run now and see how well it keeps time. Does it keep up with my clock on the wall? Well, thank you for tuning in to my make your own clock and I think this is going to become a series because I, like I said, I have really become interested in clocks. So this is the first in the series of Make Your Own Clock. 
and I already have my next kit so I'll leave that for a surprise for next time but first mechanical clock down thanks